Hello everyone and welcome back. Recently I came across this equation which at first looked like a relatively standard equation involving radicals. It was recently posted on our website biology-forms.com and after giving it several goes I realized quickly how difficult it actually is. So without giving you any hints, pause the video and try it out yourself. If you've graduated high school having learned AP math, you should be able to figure this out. Okay, hopefully it didn't frustrate you as much as it frustrated me. What we have here is the cube root of x to the power of 2 plus 3 times the cube root of that expression, raised to the power of 2, is equal to 4 times the cube root of x minus x squared. Rather than prolonging this video, I'm going to cut right to the chase and tell you how it's done. So what I did first was I noticed that x minus x squared had a common factor of x. So I pulled out an x from that expression, and I'll show my work here, where we have x minus x squared. I factored out an x, leaving you with 1 minus x. And I replaced that expression with what I just found. Let me show you. After this step, I used a property of exponents to help me break apart factors found on the right side of the equation. For example, when you learn about exponents, you learn that if you have a product, let's say a times b, and it's being raised to the power of c, you can actually split a and b so that each factor has the power of c. Those two expressions mean the same thing. In addition, we can apply that here, where we have the cube root of that expression. So instead of writing the cube root, we can write down x bracket 1 minus x, all raised to the power of a third, which means the same thing as the cube root. And I can apply this property to the following expression, where I have x to the power of a third, 1 minus x to the power of a third, and then bring that back into radical form, where I have the third root of x and the third root of 1 minus x. So I'll replace all of this with that orange expression. Here's what it should look like. Then I noticed that this expression and that expression, those two terms, can be written where the exponent of 2 can be placed outside the radical. It both means the same thing, whether you put that power of 2 within the radicand or you place it out here. Mathematically, it means the same thing. And the same can be applied here, where I can pull this 2 out without changing the meaning, and I have the following equation. Using what I have now, I used algebraic substitution to replace expressions here that are more complicated with a variable that's easier to work with. For example, notice that we have this factor and that factor that look identical. Rather than using those, let's replace them with the letter m. So I'll say m is equal to the third root 1 minus x. This is a temporary replacement. In addition, you'll notice that this factor and the third root of x here are the same. And I can replace those with another letter of my choosing. Let's say n, where n is equal the third root of x. So replacing that with n to the power of 2 plus 3 times and replacing that with m to the power of 2. On the right side, we have 4 times n times m. What we have here looks like a trinomial, which can be solved using what we know about quadratics. I'll bring that term to the left side, where I have n squared minus 4nm plus 3m squared is equal to 0. So that algebraic substitution really allowed us to see this relationship clearly. Furthermore, now we have to factor this. To factor this trinomial, you need to find two numbers that multiply to 3, this coefficient, and those same two numbers add to negative 4. Can you think of that combination? 3 times 1 doesn't work, but if we do negative 3 times negative 1, we get positive 3, which is that coefficient, 
And negative 3 plus negative 1 makes negative 4. That's the correct combination which will be used to decompose the middle term so that we have n squared minus 3nm minus 1nm plus 3m squared is equal to 0. Now we factor by grouping. Here we have n factor that's in common. So we have n minus 3m. And here what we have in common is m. I'll factor out a negative m so that what's left looks exactly like this. Watch. n minus 3m. We will factor this one more time where you'll notice this and that are identical, n minus 3m, and what's left is n minus m is equal to 0. Now if we replace back what n and m is into this equation that's in red, we can actually solve for x. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to replace this n and that n with what they actually are, which is the cube root of x minus 3 times m, which is that expression, and that's the first group. We will set that equal to 0, then we'll worry about the second factor and set that equal to 0 individually. Let's go ahead and solve for x. I'll bring that over, leaving me with the cube root of x is equal to 3 cube root of 1 minus x. To get rid of this cube root, I will cube both sides. Cubing the left side gives me x. And cubing the right side will give me, remember, we distribute that power of 3 to the 3. So we have 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. And distributing this exponent to that factor gives us 1 minus x. And therefore, x is equal to 27 over 28. That is one of the real roots for this equation. And it also fits in the domain of this equation. So we know it's correct. Now we will do the other factor. So the cube root of x, which I will replace with n, minus the cube root of 1 minus x is equal to 0. Solving the same way as before, and I'll do this quickly, eventually we end up getting x is equal to half. So the two solutions here are half and 27 over 28. If you enjoyed this video, this solution, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have further questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. Talk to you all later.